VSI has a feature manager utility that shows what plugin components have been installed as part of the virtual storage integrator framework. In this case, both path management and the unified storage management plugins are installed. Let's set up access to a VNX. First, we need to choose the storage protocols we want to use. In this case, both block and file protocols are applicable. Here, we configure management console information. The IP address and login information are necessary so that vCenter is able to authenticate against the VNX and leverage the storage system APIs. What you don't see happening here is that the storage administrator has created pooled resources specifically for VMware. Using role-based access control, the storage team can provide the VMware administrator access to a subset of storage resources on the VNX. This concept of providing resource pools up the storage stack is what keeps the storage team out of day-to-day -day VMware storage administration tasks. It looks like our VNX added successfully, so let's get started. 